Hi, Sonia here and uh, welcome back to my art YouTube channel. Today is going to be a 10 minute um, process video. It's real time and I'm completing this abstract sketchbook page that I started um, a few days ago with uh, markers. And I thought this is just a useful exercise um, for you guys. Like I sometimes do like to set myself a time limit for warm ups. Uh, this is especially helpful on mornings uh, like this morning, when um, you're kind of like changing, you've, maybe you've been rushing around, getting a lot of your chores and jobs done so that you could have a bit of creative time, but you feel a bit whizzy in your mind or um, unsettled. And so just sort of allowing yourself um, a 10 minutes to warm up in some way just helps, I find, to uh, clear my brain and get me into that sort of creative zone. Again, another option is um, free journaling as well. That's another way of uh, just sort of trying to, to d get stuff out of your mind so that you're freer to really think about what you want to create and get going. Um, yeah, so this was all... I was also going to do a different video, actually, about um, framing um, our art, like how I think it's important to, like we put our kids' art on display, to also, um, especially if we've got lots of work in drawers and stuff, have a look through it and find an old frame and um, see if there's anything that you might want to frame um, from your work, which I think is important on a few different counts. I think it's a great um, way of motivating yourself to make more art, um, and bit feeling more confident sharing your art with your family or anyone who comes into your home. And um, yeah, so I have made a video on that, but uh, ahead of time, like maybe if it's something you'd like to do too, have a look for some old frames around your house. Um, and the other idea with that, or oh, something to think about, is the work in our sketchbooks. Sometimes we do, I find that the work in certain sketchbooks is I think it's like better than my um, finished works, but I suddenly realised there's nothing to stop me also cutting out uh, areas of sketchbooks and maybe even think about, you know, in small frames, um, framing that to uh, hang up. Uh, so, yeah, so now, as you can see with this process video, I'm not going to describe it uh, too much. Um, it's essentially my aim with this spread was to continue the use of markers. I felt like that would sort of give it a homogenous look. And I've, um, I was really, I just, some, some pages, I just really enjoy using the same supply. And I also thought I'd share this video because I feel like this is a good, if you're just starting out, I mean, you may be very experienced, but if you're just starting out in this sort of um, journaling or art making, it's a pretty low entry, way of um, getting into it because all you need is uh, yeah, a notebook and some felt tip pens and I feel like especially those of us who've got kids we may have a lot of markers hanging around this box to my right is actually my kids old markers um, understandably they now quite like my um, sort of brush pens and Tombow markers so they're starting to use those and these old Crayola markers are becoming redundant and um, one thing I really hate is not using art supplies so I was like I'm gonna borrow your pens boys and um, use them in my sketchbook and uh, that leads on to uh, something I thought I'd chat about I was thinking about this because I have gone and actually ordered some gouache paint new gouache paint but like um, I, I am wanting to, how do we reassess our art supplies? If you're anything like me, that's, I, I love art supplies. I do have quite a lot and I am wanting to um, reassess what I have and use it up. And so I was thinking this uh, type of sketchbook is also a place to maybe experiment with art supplies that you have that you've kind of put away because you don't really I don't know maybe you haven't given them a proper go or they were a gift or you know it's just a place to play around with old art supplies really so yeah I mean let me know in the comments do you have any 
um, supplies that I don't that you don't like or medi uh, mediums that you don't like. And um, yeah, what are you holding on to? Because I feel at the end of the day, um, I, I don't know. I hate I hate uh, kind of hoarding art supplies. And the risk is with certain things, especially like paints, they can dry up and then, you know, no one gets any use for them. I have had times where actually I have also passed on or donated some mediums because I just really didn't like them. Um, but for myself, one of the things I'm trying to use a bit more in this uh, journal is actually these soft um, Conte or soft pastels because... I find I don't know if it's the the sensation that of um of the sort of the drag of them, but I haven't in the past really enjoyed those. But so I was like maybe here in this journal I can try like smearing them or smudging them or even adding watercolor on top. But um yeah so just a uh, an idea for the uh, this type of sketchbook. Um oh yeah and another thing to say also. Try, um, I think I've written about this in the subtech post, but I hate keeping things the best now because I did used, used to keep my like top quality um, gouache. Um, for, I mean, they do last for years and I don't like to use them uh, too like slapdash in a way because I mean, yeah, they are for cheap, you know, they are expensive. But even though they last for years, I have uh, over the last year, recently found some that are completely dried up and that is and they I mean yes they were only half um full but like or well, I had used them but it's still a terrible waste so I'm yeah just again a reminder to myself and um to anybody listening don't try not to keep things for best I it's hard not to uh yeah and then um, the last thing I wanted to mention in uh, as we come towards the end of the 10 minutes um, is uh, altered, altered books. I had a bit of a fail recently that I thought I would, um, I can't visually share it because I've actually got rid of it, but I did, I've, I did share a sketchbook tour of a altered book um, and I loved, I loved that. Uh, altered book I thought it worked out really well and it was actually quite an easy book to alter in that um, the the pages were thick and creamy and matte and there wasn't huge amounts of writing like there was a distinct border so I didn't have to cover up too much of the page um, recently I tried to I thought I've got a book from the library for like two dollars I was like I'll alter this but it had very shiny paper and then I found, actually, I was having to lay down a load of um, gesso and acrylic to try and cover, cover it up. And I didn't, it was buckling, and I didn't like the, um, the texture that I was left with. It just wasn't, I wasn't enjoying it. And it made me suddenly think about the fact, yeah, like, for any of you guys starting out again, um, I'd be... I think it's better with abstract and doodle journals to actually buy a cheap sketchbook or notebook to start off in um, because you could actually end up spending more money on covering a, um, an old book up with um, gesso and paint and spending time on like the covering of the pages rather than getting on and uh, enjoying mark making and creating your own abstracts. Okay, so yeah, here I just noticed that I've I'm just watching myself now. I turned it upside down another tip when I'm um, in this working in this sort of journal is I work on the pages from all angles I'll turn it around and around and um, just because it frees me up I it helps me then concentrate on it, concentrate on it as a whole rather than maybe getting bogged down in the composition or in a certain area. So I hope uh, getting a real time look at a um, abstract sketchbook page might be helpful. Um, so yeah, so it's an honest, uh, it's an honest um, review of what you, what I can achieve in 10 minutes. And obviously I had uh, started this spread before, but I've been enjoying uh, using uh, markers in this way and um, I hope 
that uh, wherever you are, you're enjoying your uh, journals and sketchbooks. And thanks for watching as always, and I will uh, see you next time. Bye.